it's time for Korea On Demand. And this week, joining us live on Zoom from the beautiful island of Jeju-do Island is Sonia Jo. Sonia, hello to you. Hey, guys. Sonia, I feel like it's been really, really long time since we last connected for some odd reason, although we connect like on, yeah. a, on a monthly basis. But all the more, though, really looking forward to which artists you're going to be introducing for all of our listeners and including myself as well. Right, so today I'm going to introduce a Korean artist. His name's Boho Seo, or Seo Doho in Korean way of saying. Um, he was born in Seoul in 1962, so he's in his early 60s, mm-hmm. late 50s. Yeah, yeah, er, uh, um, early 60s. Yeah, yeah, er, early 60s. Um, he's now based in London. He's a renowned artist, world renowned artist, known for. His work across drawing, film, and sculpture. His art explores themes of home, space, and memory with a particular focus on how we relate to these spaces we inhabit. Sa is, a, is best known for his fabric sculptures that recreates his former homes in places like Korea, London, in New York, reflecting on the physical and psychological aspects of space. He has participated in more than 250 shows globally, wow. including right major um, venues like Rook of Museum, MoMA in New York. There's um, his major solo show going on at the moment in Scotland. It's called National Galleries Scotland. And he's also expecting a solo show next year in Tate Modern Museum. Um, he also represented Korea at the Venice Biennale in 2001 and is also named Wall Street Journal Magazine's Innovator of the Year in Art in 2013. That is crazy on all, all the things that he's doing right now. Okay, so he also participated in the Venice Biennale for, of Architecture. And you were saying that he's kind of been mm-hmm. to many different mediums i have to say i'm I'm really interested this is probably the most Uh different artist you've ever introduced for us ever uh we're looking at many different things that he's able to do but i know this is kind of a difficult question uh it could be a very broad question too but what 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 are the Mm -hmm. characteristics of sadoho's artistic world i would say both Definitely, like what makes his work so unique is his exploration of mobility and identity. So he asked this question to himself, how much space do I carry with me from one country to the other and from the past to the present? You know, and even if, you know, um, some of us has never lived abroad or migrated we most of us have experiences of you know moving to a different house or a different city mm-hmm. uh, within the country, and also all of us has have lived you know in the past or now living in the in the present, and we're going to live in the future. And so you know, this concept of home and time and physicality and memory are the main themes that he explores. And for him, the idea of home is infinitely repeatable and transportable and how he shows it is through you know exploring the concept of mobility and and identity so his work often delves into themes of migration and identity you know his personal experiences particularly his move from korea to the states that have greatly influenced his art um he his work expresses questions about identity you know also um culture conflict that always comes with the issue of migration and the meaning of space as he navigates life as an immigrant man this is going to be really interesting for me because i've always been kind of like conflicted right when someone tells me Mm -hmm. uh when you like where's your hometown if they ask Mm -hmm. me where is your home um Mm -hmm. I was born in Korea. I was born in Korea, Mm -hmm. immigrated to New York when I was like six, right? And then lived from like, you know, for 17 years in New York. And so I've called Mm -hmm. New York home for 17 years. And now I come back to Korea 
Mm-hmm. And I have life, you know, I have family here that I started with and started. And now, you know, I live in Anya. So what do I call home? It, it's, you know, it, like it's a mix, right? I mean, that's why you call it Korean American. Mm-hmm. I'm Korean American. And so there's Korea in the United States. And so it's a very mm-hmm. conflicting thing. And he's you, like you said, he's lived in Seoul. He's lived in New York. He's lived in Berlin. Mm-hmm. He's lived in London. He's going to probably infuse all of this. So I'm very excited to see mm-hmm. uh, his artwork. So speaking of which, let's look at some of his major artworks. So what are some of his like representations? pieces and which is your favorite i would say i mean this is one of my favorite his um installation made of fabric it's called the hub series um it's one of the works that was featured in his solo show i think two years ago in sydney which i was fortunate to see it uh there and it's a beautiful installation that connects actually the three different homes that he lived in Seoul, New York, and London, I think, or was it Berlin? I'm not sure. So it's a it's a recreated uh, version of his homes in the same size. And the visitors can actually walk into his sculpture. And these sculptures are connected so it starts from his Berlin home, and then it connects to his Seoul home, and then it connects to his New York home. So as we walk in, navigate the space and the work, we can really feel like the place that he lived in these three different cities. And it doesn't really say like which is which, you mm-hmm. know, this house is from Seoul. He doesn't really say that, but there are clues that we can sort of guess which city. So like, you know, for example, the Korean home, because he lived in a traditional Hanok, the windows are different, you know, it's used with the the wood and the mulberry paper. You can definitely see which one's the Korean home. The one in the middle, yeah, the middle middle, middle one, the blue one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, as we navigate these like elements that um, consist and makes of a home, it's um it's a process of thinking about you know what makes a home and you know what are the differences of these homes in different cultures uh, this is such a beautiful artwork I, I wish all of our listeners can have a chance to see this but if you're joining us and listening to us on radio uh, it really is made of fabric and you can mm-hmm. see which one is korean the one in the middle uh in uh in sky blue kind of a kind of a teal sky blue looking thing and you can yeah, see that the, yeah. the doors are the traditional hanok door uh designs mm-hmm, mm-hmm. i'm looking out and and the cool thing about this i thought there were just individual pieces but you can see that there's a person that's walking through the yeah, three yeah, 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 sort yeah. of artworks and now you're getting uh basically you go from let's say i, I think this person went from the red fabric uh mm-hmm. you know room which whatever it may be and then to the korean room mm-hmm. and over to the next one which is made out of the purple fabric i'm trying mm-hmm. to look at different clues to see which homes they are and i think that was a do i see an outlet on the on the purple one yeah 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 the outlet oh right? my god because if you look so at right, the outlet yeah. if you if our mm-hmm. producer can go down go down a bit there and then see the outlet if you mm-hmm. you could kind of tell which country it is by looking at the outlet i don't know is that an yeah outlet? yeah 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 that's a that's a, i think that was the american one though that's a funky looking outlet <laughs> it might be german because i don't recognize it oh okay okay <laughs> I don't, okay i don't recognize it so it might be that but uh, yeah like you uh-huh. said there's different uh, clues here and there. Wow, that is remarkable. And the fact that you can kind of pass through all of this. Let's go mm-hmm. through another uh, piece of work uh, that you want to introduce for our listeners. Mm-hmm. So the second one is called Robbing slash Loving Project. Um, it was also featured in the same exhibition. It was so crazy. Like, it was so big um, to begin with. And there were a oh lot of gosh. people like surrounding this work and so what it is is it's a recreation of his family home in seoul and how he recreated it is through um attaching the hanji paper uh, to the exterior walls of the hanok and then really carefully peeling them off oh my um, goodness 
And then he, yeah, and then he kind of joined all of the little pieces all together, and he made this perfect re uh, recreation of his home like so perfectly, you know. I, you can, you know, you know what I like about this picture that you have here is mm -hmm. that you actually have a person who's standing nearby uh, yeah. to show you the scale how ginormous this artwork is. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine how long this must have taken him to build something like create this work. Uh huh. And so the there's a photo of him um, creating this. Mm -hmm. There was a video screening right next to this. Uh, and he's rubbing. Gigantic. He's rubbing right, and he does it in so like meticulous and so like carefully and like super slow. And so for me, like his his action and his process of of creating this work, it it was like kind of rubbing you know from the title the the memory from his past that he had you know while living in this home and it became like you know that um mental like psychological mm -hmm, mm -hmm. behavior of looking back you know memories of your childhood in this home it became something physical and it, be it became a physical action by him actually rubbing the papers onto this house to make his own art. It was so beautiful. And I love the way that it's like play on words. There's rubbing and loving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. our parents would be like, I am rubbing this house. You know, that's how they pronounce loving. And there's a play ah! on. <laughs> I rub with this. <laughs> uh -huh. No, I, I, our producer thinks I'm doing Ajay joke right now. Dad Joe, I really think that's what it is. I really think that's what it is. It's a play on word. He's rubbing it. But really, that's how, like, you know, our parents used to say, like, you know, pronounce things. I rub it, you know? But uh, no, no, it's, it's cool. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I, I, I'm really curious as to how long this... And looking at the art piece, because it's, like, white, it does seem like something out of a memory. You know, like it's not yeah, colored. You yeah, know how like yeah. Hanok, Hanok houses look like, but this is really like a Hanok from yeah. your memory. And yeah, so, yeah, yeah. oh my God, you're so right. Yeah. It's wonderful. Let's go into our next piece of artwork for our listeners out there. If you ever want to know what kind of artwork I like, this is the kind of artwork that I really like. It's simple, but there's so something sophisticated about it. And this is something- I thought you liked abstract. I do like abstract too, but sometimes uh -huh. I really like simple stuff like this. Okay. And I okay. wouldn't, if I had all the money in the world, I would buy this, uh -huh. but I feel like I could also create this myself. Tell us about this. <laughs> so it's a drawing of um, his idea that illustrates a perfect home. This is drawing back in 1999. And so you see there's a house in the middle mm -hmm. on the bridge. And the bridge is connecting on the left, it, it's written Korea. And on the right, it's written USA, right? So it's his idea of how can I, can I um, build a house that on the bridge that connects these two countries? that I both lived somewhere, mm -hmm. you know, in the midpoint of these two countries. So that was the condition for him of a perfect home. It's a place that is, is in the right, in the middle, the equidistant place of these two countries. Man, which I, I'm really curious. What do you think about this? Uh -huh. You know, I, for me, as again, going back to my background as a mm -hmm. Korean American, this mm -hmm. hits home so much, right? Like, I mean, Aww. I can't, I haven't been to the United States since I came here 15 years ago. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, I don't really seek going back to the United States or anything like that, but I want to visit, right? Mm -hmm. But then it's always mm -hmm. the distance mm -hmm. that's always the, in the way. And so yeah. I'm going, what would be the perfect kind of way to kind of cut that distance? I'm going to Google this. Which country is the exact middle between USA and South Korea. They must have known, they, halfway from United States to Korea. Oh my goodness. You Isn't know, it like right in the middle of a, a, an ocean? Geographically, you know, our producer yeah. was saying Hawaii, right? He, he said oh. Hawaii. Actually, Hawaii is the 50th state 
The mm-hmm. answer is the 49th state, which is Alaska. So oh. Nome, Alaska is the exact geographic halfway point from the United States to South Korea. So in Alaska, mm-hmm. you would actually see a home that looks like this, to be honest with you. But I don't think oh. he wants to live in Alaska because I don't think, you know, many people want to live in Alaska, which is why people are paying, the government's paying people to live in Alaska. But I understand mm-hmm. what he's talking about. This hits home really, really so much right now. But mm-hmm. I feel like... Mm-hmm. He could have taken more time to make that. I think he was so tired from making that Hanok artwork. That this no, n- <laughs> you can't say that. It's a drawing. It's a, it's a genre of art for artists. You know, I, it's a quick drawing of, of their idea. You, you can't say that. I'm just joking. I love it. I told you, if there is an example yeah. of an artwork that I really love, it's those, it's those mm-hmm. simple drawings that I really, really like, which is why um, a lot of the artworks that I like to see, what, what I saw was like, you know, like Picasso's like drawings, right? Just sketches. Mm-hmm. I prefer mm-hmm, them mm-hmm, over mm-hmm. his actual paintings because it really goes into the mind of the artist. Yeah, yeah. This so next right. one is interesting because I'm trying to grasp what kind mm. of medium this is because this almost looks like a photograph, but then it's again, it mm-hmm. doesn't look like a photograph. It seems like AI generated. Tell us about this mm-hmm. artwork. Yeah, you're right. So it's a digital concept rendering oh, wow. of... Of the previous drawing, you know, you know the oh. drawing that he just made in 1999, and now we see like three bridges now instead of uh, oh, wow. we see two bridges instead of one. So he added another city, uh, Korea, uh, New York, and London because he now lives in London, right? Uh-huh. So now he added London to this thought experiment. You know, where would be the the midpoint of these three cities and then he actually collaborated with architect designers to to really you know it's like a scientific experiment you know like we have a thesis and like they really try to see where that is and it's a place in like arctic sea uh called chukchi plateau Mm -hmm. and it's it's um it's in the middle of the ocean pacific ocean i believe and so he, and then he collab- collaborated with physicists and biologists to to make this home uh, imaginary home a real thing. Like, what are the conditions of these bridges to be actually built? You know, what materials they have to be built with to to you know the weather the storms and the the waves and the currents and the winds and so we can see how his idea from back in 1999 that of his idea of perfect home has actually developed to something you know much more intricate and much more uh scientific and you know with architect and all these different experts in different fields so he really wanted to see if it's a possible you know thing project sony do you know where chukchi plateau is it's, it's in the arctic sea though. yeah it's north of alaska <laughs> it's like <Yeah>. near alaska <laughs> it's near alaska it's almost like he did the uh-huh. same thing that i did where he just googled yeah, what's yeah, the halfway yeah, yeah. point but my question is, the, the thing that stands uh-huh. out the most out of all this, like, yeah. like it doesn't look like a home. It, you see a Ferris wheel. Mm-hmm. And then you kind of wonder, mm-hmm. what in the world does a Ferris wheel represent in mm-hmm. all of this? Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. But this I'm so is, glad that you asked the question. Oh, this is great stuff here. We have time for one more. And we talked about sketches and these, like, very... Uh-huh. Uh, this is one of those... I, I've said this many times. What seems like a very simple sketch, if you look in uh, closely, it's so complicated. Yeah. This is a very yeah. good example of this. Uh, mm-hmm. Once again, using his uh, love for Hanok Village. Can you tell us about this artwork? So it's made of uh, stitches. Mm-hmm. And, you know, <gasps> just like, his, like the installation works that we just saw, you know, the big ones. So it's the stitches and... I picked this because I think it's a very precise and accurate and intuitive visualization of how he thinks home and the idea of, you know, how he carries home with him. And there's this guy running towards somewhere and then 
this like you know lines infused from his body forms what looks like the ghost or the shape of his childhood home and this one specifically has this like you know um like the energy the 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 the, the psychological part aspect of what he thinks of home and you know carrying it you know uh repeating it transporting it all of those oh my gosh and, i thought this was a uh, drawing go ahead one I more see, thing yeah. i see yeah i just wanted to add from the previous one the the ferris wheel yeah, yeah, yeah. each 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 cabin is his favorite restaurant oh. from these cities isn't that so poetic? See, that's what like, said, yeah, that's the thing. I was like, I was like, this guy yeah. must have put in a certain number of cabins for a reason. Uh huh. Uh-huh, and it's his restaurant. Uh-huh. I really thought, yeah. I thought this was like color pencil, and now that you say oh, it, uh-huh. looking into it, it is stitches, and it, oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. Now that you say it's stitches, it's so yeah. amazing. Um, our producer really wants us to share this last one because it is pretty cool too. Um, yeah. This is a big truck that's carrying another Hanok. It's like basically his home plus the garden being carried by a truck. Tell us about this. Yeah. And the truck is like like an American truck, you know, with yeah. the, the fire pattern in the, in the front. <laughs> so this is a, another like fun uh, visualization slash like modeling of his idea of, you know, carrying homes you know in different continents mm-hmm. different different cities and it's a really fun way to you know he he built this actual truck and the hanok and the trees that we see the cherry blossom we see the pine trees it's it's really amazing i'm gonna do this i'm gonna i'm gonna create something like this at home representing <gasps> oh my god you should seoul and new york actually i'm not even from yeah. seoul anymore korea and United States. I'm going to do an art piece using some sort of medium that I could control. But Sonia, yeah. incredible stuff. I really enjoyed it. And again, it really hit hard for me uh, knowing mm-hmm. what, what all of this uh, symbolizes. Thank you so much, as always, for introducing yet another artist and his incredible artwork. Have a safe one. Looking forward to talking to you again. Bye-bye. You can listen to Korea Now with me, SJ Lee, by downloading the Arirang Radio application or tune in online by visiting www.arirangradio.com. So make sure you tune in Mondays through Fridays, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Korea time.